I only shoot and score, then if you score, then we'll come. Yo guys, Eki here. In this video we will go through my personal top 5 versus teams in NHL 21. You will probably see a lot of surprises on this list. My player taste, my team taste is a little unconventional. So I love balanced teams who have a couple of top guys who can close games out. I love face-offs and in this game speed kills. Also this list may change a lot depending on what's happening in free agency. So keep that in mind, but this is the list right now. This was one of my favorite two teams in NHL 20 with Pittsburgh, Vegas Golden Knights. They've lost Statsny and Cousins so far in offense, and they lost Smith in defense, but they added Pietrangelo. Overall, I feel like this team is in a very similar shape. Then in NHL 21, offense is a bit worse, but they added Pietrangelo. Like I said, speed kills, Vegas is a really fast team, but they also have the big guys who can protect the puck with easily. So first line, Carson, Patch Ready, Stone, Carson, Patch Ready, both have 88 speed. Second line, Smith, Marshall, Nosek. Marshall and Smith have both 88 speed, but they're both pretty small, especially Marshall, so that adds a bit of speed. Then Nosek at center, 86 speed, overall solid center, don't let the overall fool you. 81 faceoffs, 86 speed. Third line, Tuck, Glass, Carrier. Carrier has 87 speed and he has a bit of size to him. I loved Carrier in last NHL. Cody Glass wasn't in NHL 20 in Vegas roster. He has 77 faceoffs, okay shots, 85 speed. Don't really know how he will play yet, but stats wise, size wise, I think he will be pretty good. Tuck is a big body, he has 85 speed, his stats are pretty much 85s all across the board. Really good and solid third line winger. Fourth line Reeves, Stevenson, Roy. Roy is a new guy, don't know much about him, but Stevenson and Reeves were really good in last NHL. Defensive wise, I really loved Vegas in the last NHL, even before they added Pietrangelo. They only had left-handed defenseman, but everybody had size, everybody had speed, and Pietrangelo just helps that. Pietrangelo has always been my top three favorite defenseman in the game. He's unreal. Can't wait to try him out in versus Theodore, 87 speed and a big body is so good in this game. He plays much better than 84 overall. Same with Martinez, 185 CM, 87 speed. Stats are solid all across the board. McNabb, another big body, 85 speed. I really love Vegas defensive core. Third line deeper. This hurts Vegas a bit. Holden is good, 84 speed, big body. But this Dahlstrom guy, 193 CM, 105 kilos, 82 speed. In this NHL, this guy will kill you, but there's like no players in scratch. If Vegas will get somebody to replace Dahlstrom and somebody to replace this Roy guy, then I would have Vegas higher on this list. And even better if they could have some improvements at center, that would put Vegas over the top. Statsin was really good last year, and losing him really hurts this team. Also Vegas has Robbie Lehner in net, about top 5, top 6 goalie in this game. Also they have Fleury as a backup, so goaltending is good. Number 4 coming in is the Buffalo Sabres. Maybe a surprise for you, but dude, Buffalo was really underrated last year, and they added Taylor Hall. Plus knowing what NHL 21 is all about, this team looks unreal on paper. Imagine coming down the ice, you have Eichel on one wing, and Taylor Hall on another wing. How can the opponent stop you? Taylor Hall, 94 speed, over 90 shots. Akel, 92 speed, over 90 shots. Their puck handling categories, offensive categories, everything is 90 plus. These guys will win you so many games. They added Eric Stahl, big body. Every stat is about 85 plus. He looks really good, 79 faceoffs. Not the best, but that's still good. Second line, Reinhard Skinner, Olofsson. Reinhard looks like a solid player, 85 speed. Puck handling categories are close to 90, almost everything. Skinner has 78 face-offs, you can easily play him at center, 88 speed, again puck handling and shooting categories are close to 90. All of Son shooting, 90. Puck skills, about 85, and speed, 89. All of Son looks like a player who's really good in NHL 21. Third line, Okposo, Ikin, Ryder. Ryder has 88 speed, Ikin has 87 speed, Okposo has 85 speed, add some grit to the line. Like, looking down this team, I feel like this team is made for this freaking game. <laughs> Ikin has 79 face-offs, again okay, that beats a lot of other teams, but one thing Buffalo could be great at is to have couple of the 85 to 90 face-off guys. I really value that. I think puck possession always in NHL games is a huge part of the game. Fourth line Thompson, Grigerson, Middlestad. Kirgenson and Middlestad both have 87 speed, Thompson 85. Again, the whole offense is really fast, but there's also a couple big bodies. Kirgenson, Thompson is almost freaking 2 meters tall. Stahl is 190 
93 cm, so 6 foot 4. So yeah, looking at Buffalo's offense on paper, it's a top 3 offense in the game, in my opinion, for sure. But defense and goaltending is where Buffalo drops a bit. But it's still really good. Darlin and Ristolainen, both are really good, 85-86 overall. But Darlin has 85 speed and Ristolainen 86. Don't get me wrong, it's alright, but knowing the meta of the game, straight skating is really good. When your opponent has, for example, Toronto, Edmonton, Tampa Bay, Pittsburgh, you have to be really careful with these guys, not overplay the puck and stuff. But the rest of the defense is actually better what the overall shows you. McKay pretty basic, 85 speed, 185. He's good size, he looks like a basic defenseman. Nothing much to say about him, but dude, Colin Miller, 88 speed, 185 cm, looks a lot better than the 81 overall shows you. So I think he will be really good. Third line deeper, we have two right-handed players, Joki Harju and Montour. Montour is really similar to Miller, 87 speed. His stats are really good, you could probably play him above Miller. You could also play them both in the second line. Because regardless, you have to have two right-handed defensemen in one line. Joki Harry is pretty similar to McCabe. Speed 85, basic stats, you know the deal. Ulmark in net, and this hurts Buffalo the most. But at the same time, at least in last NHL, Ulmark was better than the 83 overall. He's 191 CM, so 6'3". He has a bit of size to him, and he's an okay goalie. I won't say he's the best, I won't say he's good, but he's better than Binnington, for example. And he's better than the goaltenders in the next team coming up. Number 3, the Carolina Hurricanes. And dude, on some players list, this team could be number 1. On some guys list, this could be number 10. I'm not really sure what to think about this team, to be honest. I really don't. There's so many good players on paper. I, especially in 20, couldn't get the hang of this team, but I just have to have them on the list, just because of their players on paper. First line, Aho, Teravainen, Nekas. Perfect line in this game. Teravainen, 90 speed, good, fast, solid forward. Aho plays really similar to Teravainen. A smaller guy, 89 speed. Really agile, really good with the puck. Nekas 88 speed, he's really good in game. His other stats are about 85-ish. Not the best for a first line forward, but with Ahan Teravainen, he plays just fine. And overall, Carolina is more like a balanced team. It's not top heavy. Second line, Trocek, Stal, Svestnikov. I have Trocek here because he's a small guy and Nekas is a bigger guy. I think Nekas balances out Ahan Teravainen, great. And then Trocek balances out Stal and Svestnikov, couple couple bigger guys really well. Trocek really good with the puck, 87 speed. All of his stats, especially with the puck, are a bit above 87. He's kind of like Teravainen, bit worse, but just right-handed. Stahl is unreal. Not sure how good he is in this game, though. 193 CM, so 6-4 again. I noticed the bigger guys have their advantages for sure in this game, but speed is more important still. But if you want to have the big guy anywhere, have him at center. At center, he doesn't hurt you. But dude, 91 face-offs. 90 defensive awareness, 89 stick checking. This guy is a perfect two-way center. Gets you the puck of, of the face-offs, is in the right places defensively. So he's really solid, I've always liked him. In the other line, we have Svestnikov. Big body with 87 speed. Puck skills and shooting is about 90, everything. He looks really good. Third line, fast, Jingle, neither rider. Dude, Carolina has two 83 overalls in third line. Jingle is alright, puck skills and shooting is about 86, plus minus. Speed, 86. The thing that hurts Jingle is you almost have to play him at center in Carolina, like I'm doing. He only has 73 face-offs. Not the best. You can win some face-offs with him, but you probably have to tie up most of the time. Neither rider, really good. 88 speed, another big body. His shooting and puck skills are close to 90. So, neither rider actually looks better than the 83 overall he is. Yes, per fast, 80 overall. But look at his stats again. Guys, don't look at the 80 overall. Look at the stats. 88 speed. Puck skills 85 to 88. Shooting 85-ish. This guy looks really good for a freaking third line winger. Fourth line, Fogel, Martinok, and Mackin. Probably messed up the names, but it's alright. Nothing much to say about these guys. I think everybody had about 85 speed. They're pretty average all across the board, so pretty pretty basic fourth line. But this is where Carolina probably beats every team in the game. Their defense. Dougie Hamilton, Jakub Slavin. Big skating defenders are always the best defenders in NHL. Dougie Hamilton, 198 CM, 88 speed, 90 slapshot power, puck control passing 90. He has the big stick, he has the body. <laughs> Again, don't look at the overall, look at the stats, look at the size. This guy plays like a 90 overall on the ice. Slavin pretty solid. His stats are from 85 to 90 all across the board. Looks like a solid defender, 86 speed, like an another big body. I think he plays good with Hamilton. Then second line defense, Brady's K. Again, sorry if I messed the names up. Look at this guy, 89 speed. 
Another big body, 191 CM. 88 stick checking. This guy looks unreal as well. Big skating defensemen are always so good in NHL. And in this NHL, more than anything, you need fast defenders. And the size just helps you. In this game, it's so important to have fast defenders. And size just helps you with that. If you played hard, you've noticed the speedy wingers. You can create so many easy scoring chances with them. Just rushing down the wings, getting easy counter attacks. But guys like Hamilton and Skye just counter that. You can't just get past a fucking 2 meter Dougie Hamilton who has 88 speed or 191 CM Skye who has 89 speed. If your opponents try to just skate past these guys, they will lose the puck. Red piece, 83 overall, defensive defenseman. 86 speed, good defensive stats. Not that great with the puck, but he will do the job. Another big body. Carolina has a large freaking defense. Their smallest defender is Jake Gardner who's 188 CM, so 62. Gardner, 88 speed, 62. 88 stick checking. Again, I feel like this guy plays a lot better in game as the 83 overall shows you. I will say this to you a bunch. Don't look at the overall, look at the actual stats that matter. Fleury, pretty basic 80 overall. Another big body, 191 CM, 85 speed. Looks like a pretty basic, basic defender. Carolina would be higher. <laughs> If they had some cold ending. Rasek and Reimer both have never been the best at NHL. They're okay. But for example, Ulmark in Buffalo is better. This NHL might be different. Again, I haven't played versus at all. I'm only judging these teams by what I know from previous NHLs and from what I know is important in this game. Cold ending is a big weakness of Carolina. But skater wise, this team doesn't have any weaknesses. Number two, Toronto Maple Leafs. <laughs> My favorite team. I have a love-hate relationship with this team on the actual game and in real life. Toronto is one of the hardest teams to play with. I feel like defending in NHL games with Toronto feels weird for some reason. I just can't keep the puck off the net. But again, looking at the roster on paper and from what I know, I have to have Toronto at number two. First line, John Tavares, Ahuston Matthews, Marner. What do I even have to say? I don't even have to show the stats. You know what Marner and Matthews are about. You know what Tavares is about. 87 face-offs. This has to be the best first line in the game. Wingers have speed, Tavares and Matthews have size. Second line, Nylander, Mikhaev, Hyman. Both Hyman and Mikhaev are pretty big. Both have 86 speed. Not the best wingers, but they get it done. Their shooting stats are above 85, so when they get the chance, they should hit the net. I love William Nylander. He's always been one of my favorite players to play with. 90 puck handling, 90 speed, almost 90 shooting. 82 face-offs. You can easily play him at center. He's pretty perfect size-wise as well for this NHL. 183 CM, 87 kilos. Again, look at the stats. He is better than the 85 overall, shows you. Third line, Spezza, Simmons, Kerfoot. Kerfoot and Simmons both have 88 speed, fast wingers. Simmons has a bit of size. Simmons actually has 89 slaps at power and 88 reach at power. So he should score as well. 85 back handling stats. And again, 85 speed, 89 strength. And he's only an 81 overall. This guy looks like the perfect third line winger. He could probably play higher as well. He, he maybe is better than Hyman. So I would probably actually put Simmons here, looking at the stats more carefully. Careful, 88 speed, really fast guy. He's maybe a bit too small for my liking, but in this NHL I feel like smaller guys are better than they were in the past NHLs. 85-ish shooting, pack handling. He's good for the third line. Fourth line, Malgin, Vesi, Engvall. I won't go into the fourth liners. Engvall, VC, two big bodies. Malgin has 88 speed. He's a really small guy, but he balances out the line pretty well. So, Doronto's forwards, I feel like, are insane. And I forgot to mention. Jason Spezza, yes, he's really slow, all of this. But he's really good at center. He's kind of like a little worse version of Jordan Stahl. 87 face-offs, 83 speed. Otherwise, it's about 85-ish across the board. Defense, I know Doronto doesn't have right-handed defenders. Again, if you really care about having the handedness with the defenders, Toronto probably isn't your team. But like I said before, Vegas was one of my favorite teams in NHL 20. They only had one right-handed defenseman. And this defense looks really similar to what Vegas had last year. Just a bit better. Brody, Riley, both are 185 CM, really good height. Riley has 90 speed, 90 puck skills, good shooting, good defensive awareness, good stick checking. Morgan Riley always has been amazing 
in NHL games. Brody. I haven't played with Brody in NHL because I just haven't played with Calgary a lot. But 88 speed, solid height, 88 stick checking. Looks like a perfect defenseman again for this NHL. Dermot 88 speed. Bit smaller guy. Usually I find it pretty hard to defend with him. But like I said, I value speed a lot in this game. Jake Massin, big body, 88 speed. 88 stick checking, 88 defensive awareness. Again, perfect defender for this game. You need these guys who have size, who have speed. These are the guys who get it done for you in this nature, trust me. I feel like good defenders is the most important aspect of your team this year. You have to counter the fast forwards, because again, straight skating is really overpowered in this game, but turning is pretty bad. So if you can get the counter attacks away with your defenders, it makes your life so much easier in the defensive zone. Hall Sandin. Sandin is pretty similar to Dermot, 87 speed a bit smaller body but hall is a bigger body next to him not the best 84 speed he might be a bit slow but 87 stick checking 191 cm is probably really good in the defensive zone and something can help him out speed wise goaltenders frederick anderson again i would have him in my top six top seven goaltenders in the game as well and the best team on paper, in my opinion, in NHL 21, is the Edmonton Oilers. Don't click off the video yet, let me explain. You're probably thinking what the fuck, but I'll show you. Again, keep in mind everything I've said so far on what's important in a team. First line, Kyle Turris, Leon Dreisaitl, Connor McDavid. Let's start with Kyle Turris. 82 overall, yes. 89 speed, 185 cm, he can protect the puck as well. Over 85 puck handling and shooting, okay. Leon Dreisaitl, honestly, one of the best players last year in Versus. Didn't try Edmonton a lot, but every time I played with this team, Dreisaitl was insane. Every stat is pretty much plus 90, other than speed. Speed 88, he's still a fast guy. Again, when you play him at center, pretty perfect. 79 faces could be a bit higher, but the way he is overall as a player doesn't matter. And then, uh, just look at what you're seeing. You see the 97 speed, you see the 96 to 97 hand category, you see the plus 90 shooting, you see the 98 offensive awareness. <sighs> Nothing to say. And don't do the mistake of playing Conor McDavid at center. You can't get the most out of him. Especially in this game, 97 speed. If your opponent doesn't know how to defend, just skate with Conor in the wing and you get a counter attack. Second line, Yamamoto Hopkins Neil. Again, probably doesn't look the best at paper, but Yamamoto is a really small guy. Yes, he has 91 speed, 92 agility. You can create a lot of space with him. He's probably really tough to defend. 87 to 90 puck skills, 86 shooting. He looks to me a lot better than an 82 overall. Probably really hard to defend with him though, to be honest. But that's why we have Nugent Hopkins and James Neal next to him. Nugent Hopkins, 85 speed, 75 faceoffs. Not the best, especially to Toronto. Edmonton loses a lot in faceoffs. About 90 puck skills, 86 to 89 shooting, 88 speed, 89 acceleration. And like I said, the 75 faceoffs hurt him a bit, but overall pretty perfect center. James Neal is an interesting one. A really big body, 85 speed. He has good shooting, 87 to 90, 85-ish puck skills. Don't know how good he is in this NHL, knowing the meta right now. But he's playing with two really fast players who can create the space for him. And Neal in the offensive zone is a beast. Even though Yamamoto, Neal only 82, 81. I feel like them both looking at the stats, looking at the whole line combination. They will play on the ice a lot better than what the overall show you. Third and fourth line, this is where Edmonton drops off a bit, but it's still good. Pulu Järvi, big body, 87 speed. Knowing Pulu from previous NHLs, looking at the stats, he's really good. You can use him in counter attacks with the speed, but he's also easy to protect the puck with because of his body. Has pretty basic uh, center, 77 face offs, 85 speed. Not the best stats, but you know, Edmonton doesn't have centers. Ennis, another really small player. Like I said, small players are better than they've ever been. 84 to 90 puck skills, 83 to 85 shooting. You can use him really good in counter attacks. I think he balances out with Pulujärvi pretty well. Portland Cassian, Kyra, Nugard. Again, Kyra, only 74 faces, 83 speed. He looks really bad, but there's just no other options. He has 88 to 89 slap shot and reshot power though. Cassian, solid fourth line player. His shot powers as well are 88 to 89. So you can probably score with these fourth liners. 85 speed, pretty basic across the board. Cassian is a basic power forward, 92 strength. New guard, 86 speed, pretty basic fourth liner, nothing much to say. And then, again, 
defense. Daniel Nurse, big body, 85 overall, 87 speed, 90 stick checking, 88 defensive awareness, 88 and 87 shot power. And him next to Tyson Barry. Yes, he's a bit small, might be sometimes hard to defend with him, but 88 speed, he will be so good with the puck. And again, this guy's perfect of countering the other team's counterattacks. 90 puck skills, good shooting. Good speed, good defensive stats. Second deeper, Adam Larsson, Clefbaum. Both of these guys are really similar. 191 CM, good height, big body. I think I've said that a thousand times. 86 speed, 88 defensive awareness, stick checking, 87 shot powers. Clefbaum, 86 speed, 88 defensive awareness, 87 stick checking, 88 shot powers, and 84 shot accuracy. Which you actually don't see that often from defenders. Good puck skills. Overall, a great defender. Third deeper, Caleb Jones and Ethan Beer. Again, may not look that impressive when you look at the names right here and the overalls, but Caleb Jones, 185 CM, 93 kilos, 86 speed. 86 stick checking, Ethan Beer 82 overall, 180 cm, bit smaller again, but I feel like it's okay in this initial. 87 speed, 87 stick checking, 87 defensive awareness, 86 shot powers. I'm really excited to try this team out. On paper I would probably have Toronto over Edmonton, but like I've said, my history with Toronto in game hasn't been that great. I feel like they're a really tough team to play with, but these are all personal preference. The thing that helps Edmonton compared to the other teams is that you have all the perfect handedness. Like this is exactly how I want it. You have the four right-handed wingers in the left side, and you have the four left-handed wingers on the right side. And you have three left-handed centers and one right-handed center. That's exactly how I want it to be. Defense, you have the right-handed guys in the left side, and the left-handed guys on the left side. I don't think you had this in any other team. Don't get me wrong, I like left-handed players more. I don't mind if, for example, there's two left-handed defensemen, but of course this is better. Goal in Edmonton is Mikko Koskinen. 83 overall, might fool you. 201 CM, Koskinen was really solid in last NHL. And what I played of Hood so far, big goalies are still really good. I might be wrong, but I trust that Koskinen is really solid. I wouldn't pick him over Anderson or Lehner, for example, but I would pick him over Carolinas or Buffalo's goalies really easily. So, there's the list. You're probably thinking, where are Tampa Bay, where is Washington, where is Pittsburgh? And looking at those rosters on paper, you know, I just didn't, didn't love it. All of these teams I showed you, I'm really excited to try out. Tampa probably has the best overall, so I will show you what's wrong with them. Of course, offense, out of this world, really good. But they only have three right-handed players, remember that. And two of them are Point and Stamkos, who are both centers, so it's kinda hard to do the lines. And this is the biggest issue for me. These are the defenders in Tampa Bay. So Herman, McDonough, Sergachev, don't have to talk about them, perfect. But half of the defenders, Sernak, 82 speed, big guy. Coburn, 83 speed, big guy. Luke Shen, 83 speed, big guy. In this NHL, I just can't play with these defenders. These three guys will kill you on the ice. Imagine your opponent is playing with Edmonton or Toronto. You have, for example, Cobor and Shen on the ice. Your opponent is coming down with, does it even matter? Edmonton, Toronto, everybody's fast. These guys will get blown out of the water. Because of that and the lack of right-handed players and not the best faceoffs, I just can't have Tampa Bay over the five teams I showed you. Washington could have been on the list, easily. They have a good team by adding shoots. They don't have a goal right now. Lundqvist or Samsonov, I don't know about them. I think Samsonov might be a bit similar to Ulamark, but I felt like Holtby was a huge advantage for Washington in the past NHLs. Washington also sucks in the face of draw. Backstrom has 75 face of Kuznets of 67. OC 74, LR 76. Yeah, I just can't have that. These are the teams I think you can play with on versus without a worry, really. Every team on this list could be in the top five. Yeah, I have the top five list here, but dude, the teams are so even nowadays. They're so even. It's mostly up to personal preference. So I recommend checking these rosters out. See what you like, see what you don't like. Either one of these teams might be the team for you. This was my personal list. Again, it may change with the free agency. It may change when I actually try these teams out. But this is it right now. Also, Colorado looked really good on paper. I've just never liked to use that team, to be honest. But yeah, these are the teams I recommend you check out. So, that is the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the content, feel free to subscribe. Let me know of what you thought of my list. Do you think I'm totally nuts or do you understand where I'm coming from with the players and the teams? So everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.